Surprise, surprise, yeah. What do we have? Guess who we have with us today at our Central Foundation's physical hub. You'll be so surprised. Yes, before I go there, I'm Jacket Luani Central, and today you're welcome to the Central's Black family. In case you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that have been supporting us on this journey of empowering and changing the lives of African youth. And such is the story we have today. We've told you that something gagacious is happening. We have the second beneficiary of the Central's Foundation right here with us live. She's not been able to join us because she was in the village. We've never met her since 2020 that we started this foundation. And she was the second person we empowered. We've never seen her face to face just until this day today that we're doing this video. And she just busted into this our physical location. Yeah. And she's in the presence of no other one than... Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm so much happy here to be to be in this place. I'm Sophia by now, Sophia Surudi. Like I said earlier, um, I'm from Imo State. I'm first child of my parents. My dad is a government worker. And also, I'm a student. I'm schooling at Harvard, the Coco College of Education. Already. I'm doing a C program. This is where I see myself as a poor kid because my dad is a low income earner. He found it so difficult to train me in school. There's a lot of telling that I want to acquire. And if any skills, especially sewing, because I mean, I have so much have passion for that. I love sewing. So I tried to, to do it on my own, to do it alone, but I do It's so difficult for me. That's why I, I, I like, that's why I'm like, I'm helpless. That's why I need someone to help me to achieve my dream, to achieve my. To, to, to achieve it, I want to be a seamstress. I want to, I want to learn to support that. So much love that skill very well. Thank you very much, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Here is the antique shop. Here is her shop. This is her. Limit of the learning is 40,000 naira for a year. Why is 20,000 naira for two for six months? Good evening, everyone. I'm so to Sophia. I'm so happy this evening. I want to say a big thank you to Central Vlog Channel and the Committee with African Youth Development Strategy supporting, which have been helping you to acquire skill. Thank you, everyone who have made this Central Foundation how to be a writer. Thank God. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> In life, it is said that you are just four persons away from the shift or development you're seeking. You just need to know someone that knows someone that knows the other person and someone that knows the person that you need to know. And if you are not uh, well behaved, you're not thinking of community, you're not thinking of others, there is no way you're going to grow in life. And such is the case of this foundation we are running here at Cetrus Foundation. Uh, Sophia Surichi, you are seeing now, she's from the eastern part of Nigeria, West Africa, the globe. We've never met her once in life. So when we started Cetrus Foundation on uh, during the lockdown in 2020, she reached out to us. The first beneficiary that reached out to us, we don't want to talk about our story, but she, she was the second, and we've never met her before. She said, you're going to be seeing that video shot. She said, please come and help me. I want to learn how to sew, but I don't know. Uh, this, we say, is she serious? I'm going to do it. And that's where the story starts. So I want to ask her questions live on stage now. How is she feeling? How did it get? So, uh, Sophia, how did you get to know about Cetros Foundation? And you went far east and went right here in the western part of Lagos, uh, 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 as in western part of Nigeria, Lagos State. So, how did you get to know about the foundation? Okay, how it happened during that since we doing the long run. So, we are just at home doing nothing. I said, okay, now let me use my phone because I asked my phone that I was managing. I said, let me go into all this fashion, all this YouTube of a thing. Let me start, like, let me be looking at their design. Like, let me see if I can do online, so, learn something like this. So, when I click, when I saw their own, like, they wrote Central, Central, something of it. I can't remember, I actually remember. Just that. And I clicked it, but I saw something like online something. So, I said, okay, now let me ask them everything about this. So, when I, when I click there, when I 
click the link so i was like asking her you know we are like exchanging greetings from there and i expressed i like i told her what i want to do you know and i asked, asked her um how is, it, how is the online then i mean procedure for it like she now told me everything both moons and they feel like if you want to say yeah fine you yeah, allowed she now told me the price. <laughs> <laughs> the price was much, but I can't actually remember the price now because it was much, so I don't have to have it in my mind till now. And I said, okay, now thank you, my fear, but just that I don't have money for it. <laughs> so that's how they before, and we now breached the communication there. So well, let's say we did some, let me not say this, let me just put it in like moves. So, she now sent me a link, like something like a foundation that I should click the foundation, something like that. So when I saw the link, I clicked it. When I clicked it, I saw something like a procedure for it. Like, in, like you need to do a video of yourself, of your family, of that your environment, everything. Like they need to get your details. So from there now, from there now, started, I now told you my name. Uh, and I do a video of my environment. And even uh, people that are around me, because you need to like, just like an agent, you know that so they will know who they are helping, something like that. No, if you want to do something like that, they need to get your information. So I avoid like coming or like oh, one night. <laughs> for one night. So and I did everything. I even I even dream that's everything. I just I don't to capture everything. My they know I, like doing they will like say my background. So they have to know everything. Do you know that this is really interesting? I'm just getting to know this today that she's here. That she actually first of all applied for a fashion school at set with the setters. Uh, we run a, a fashion and online fashion school. So we have students in different countries. So when you want to register, you call us. We tell you this is the price, this is the course duration. That was what she did. She was really looking for where she will learn online. And when she heard the price, she said it was too much. Not knowing that our foundation, our foundation had not come up then. So, God help you us. We just started with the foundation, I think May 2020. And we reached out to her. Now you can come. And she came. So, what was your experience like? How, did you think it was really going to be possible? Or you felt it was going to be a scam? Or? When I saw the link after everything, like people around me, they were like, ah, am I sure? Like, because to them, they have not seen something like that. But maybe all that I've seen, maybe to us. You've not expressed such thing like that, so they're like, even me, it was like, hey, dude, but all I know, I keep pressing, I keep like hoping, I keep doing everything. So I think well, at, at last, finally, the thing was just like a reality. I just, I, I was so much happy doing that. Period, so. <laughs> it's so funny, they were thinking it was going to be a scam. So the first process was that word. We said you should get words. Uh, okay. Where you, you will what? Yeah, the environment. Where you will learn your okay. sewing. Yes, yes, that's true. So then I told like I should go and move to a nearer place that I, like that will go and learn the work. So so I have to I don't have I don't have to hesitate. Let's say it's the that's next it. day <laughs> I have to make a move. Like I have to check in that environment. The near I mean, place that will be nearer from that will not cost me much. So and I will wait. So and I got so one woman like that. So now now to so with that after everything. She now she now told me how the team will be, both the training and everything and requirements for it. So what I got to I have to read back to Central Foundation. And that was just it. She did a video with the trainer. We we got to know the price, the requirements, what she was supposed to bring before she could commence that training. And Central Foundation wired the money into a trainer's account and every other thing. And what was surprising, I think I have to take it off from here. This lady, she's not been here, but amidst all her beneficiaries, she's always making us proud. <laughs> Is there anything like that? She immediately she started because the law in Central Foundation is that once you are empowered, once we see you, you will tell us the skill you want to acquire, what you love to do naturally. It's not by force because whatever you don't love, you will not be good at it. So whoever is the person you are empowering, whatever is the youth, whatever age, we just say, what do you love doing? I want to learn organizing. We take you there. So she said she wanted to be a seamstress. So she looked for that person that would train her in her locality. We just did the video call to be sure this. The person sent her account number to the foundation. We paid 
for her training and she commenced the training but this girl surprised us i think it was on that one month or thereabouts yeah. because the law was that once you start and we, you'll be submitting report to us weekly like once or twice a week you show us that this is what i've done this is what i've done as you're making progress we're going to get the needed tools your machines everything you need to grow at that craft for you and she blew our minds then on that one was it on that just a month for like on a that month. one month she started making dresses complete dresses she would stand by and say this sophia stitches we were wild the next thing was that what the butter is sewing machine. The butter, those foundation butter is sewing machine. Guy, guy, get get. New characha. She said new characha. <laughs> so as she got the machine like this, she now became an expert. She started growing. She started growing. So as she started growing, she was this. She was that. Before we knew it, she'll be sending us our uh, designs. We are showing you. You just be seeing everything as I'm talking now. So it got to a point. We're not seeing her work. We now called her. What happened? She now says she has changed. What happened again? Changed she, she changed location. location. And changing that location, do you know what she means? She went to pay for advanced training. This Igbo girl, this is the one we have been saying that Igbo people, Western people from Nigeria, <laughs> they are so wise, so intelligent, so articulate in business. She, uh, when she saw that that first trainer, because where she is from is like a village. When she saw that that one has taught her all she knew, and being a young girl, she's just about 20. How old are you? I'm just straight now. 23. Then she was about 21. Then that's what we're saying about youth. She she got all that that trainer could train her just within months. She got everything. She saw that, ah, this one is like I've gotten everything here. She went to another person doing advanced training. She used that money because, as we're saying, you know, Igbo, Igbo girls now, she started making, she'll be posting Sophia stitches, this, that, she started selling. She took her money and she went to enroll for further training. Can you see that? And when we got to know about it, we said yes, we reimbursed that. The foundation paid her back. We bought some other materials for her and she's been doing great. In fact, no, no, no. Not just because she's here, but this is what we've always been telling you, been showing you our work, and and that's just it. And we're so happy. And do you know that this girl, as she came today, she was telling me she went through the eye of the needle to get educated. As in, at least she's she she went for, to the College of Education, but she decided that she was going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. As in, she said she went through what? She did not decide to do ukop. Hook up like some African girls are doing now. Hooking up. And for you to know the game, she's already married though. Where is your ring? You didn't bring it. She has not brought it. <laughs> and for you to know the game, tell them that you're a married woman. She has done a traditional. And a bright, brand, intelligent, articulate, great man has come to, to take her and the marriage, not even look for her and the marriage. They've done their traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. Before you know it now, she's going to be representing Central Foundation in another place. I don't want to talk about. You're going to be hearing that latest, latest, latest. So, we're going to be having representatives everywhere. And this is a thing of joy to us. So, that is it. You are going to be seeing her now. She's going to be representing Central Foundation in another place entirely. Another, I don't want to say just you should understand. So we are full of joy today. I think this is a very happy day, happy, happy day for us. I see, you. as in when she came, you will see the org at the I gate. She you. just jumped up my neck as in I said this. Ah uh, no, no, no. We've never seen from anywhere. So that that is just it. What will you be remembered for? Life is all about making the world is all about making life better off for someone around you this was a girl two years ago she was there you see how she was now in the village nothing please come and help me and for your information she lost her mom she only has her father and her stepmother and she said i don't have anybody but god helped her through sexual foundation so you are still there if you are a youth that is intelligent and articulate not one that wants to do uko or yahoo plus it doesn't pay in the end they die early they waste their lives it doesn't pay so reach out to us on the number showing below that was how she reached out to us she's not our physical family member but we are now one big central family member by god's grace so she reached out to us reach out to us on the number and be sure you want to learn there is there are others the first girl now she's doing yeah yeah sure things 
There's another one too from the eastern part. So if I just say eastern part, you know that maybe I'm beefing people from west. This one that the first beneficiary, she's from the west. We did, gave her machine, gave her everything. Mm, gave her fabrics. She didn't do anything. Till date, we've told you about her. There's another girl too from the uh, eastern part. We gave her too. That is how she did too. But you're not going to say because people are not cooperating, they are, they are deviating from the standard, you will not help people. No, because in the midst of the, the many bad heads, there will still be good words. So, and we don't have to leave them to suffer. So, we are so happy for Sophia. She's a married, as in, when we tell you that the Fantastic Four, we are going to follow them to the day they are married, you think. And for the Fantastic Four, I know when Jim is watching this, Fantastic Four, they are, they are both here and they are doing great. We'll still be bringing more about them. We will follow them to when they are married. So we follow Sophia now. You will still be hearing more. I'm so sure so many people, like uh, Mrs. Emmanuel State Poet and so many other people, they'll be saying, What are the fun? When they see us doing fashion, that they like to see. So is this is from this fashion now she came to know us. As in they'll be like, Ah, what is happening? We are still very much on ground. We do tell you that helping youth is not a vlog to us. No, it's our lifestyle. Cetros Foundation, the Cetros family, it's, we, we, it's our calling. So if you have not seen what we're doing, we're still going. And what is happening in Nigeria right now, that's even one of the things that brought her to Lagos. The eastern part of Nigeria is not safe, isn't it, uh, Sophia? Mm -hmm. They are killing people anyhow, different things, just keep praying for us. Uh, I just want you to say little things about what is happening there. Um, that's our eastern part, I think that's our... <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not her fault. Let me just summarize that. I want to say what about it. I know many of you have been here too for going, on, going, going on over there. So, you said you would be there so. that you'd be hearing bullets. Uh, yeah, short. Short, something like that. So, every time, like, it might, might stay freely. We need some news or so. Like, you see people running or like, not being to your soul. Like, many people over there are suffering of a high blood pressure. Many people, especially grandmas, you know, all these things. So the rate of that is too much, too much about that side. So ter terrible things are happening in the eastern part of Nigeria now. I hope and all the lights. So when we're saying it, some persons will feel maybe Central Foundation were not. So thank God you're hearing from her. She said her mother-in-law had to bring her to Lagos just for safety. That's why you see her because Central Foundation is based in Lagos. And even in the northern part, the other time I told us that Cardinal, you couldn't go there by road, by air, by rail. You heard of that doctor that was killed in the train, in the rail in Cardinal. So so many things. For even you to for you to go to Ibadan, just or your state here right now, you have to go early, you have to make sure that things are happening. Central Foundation we would have just been going to search these youth in their rough form. We, we discovered that most of the youth are hard working. They are in the villages. Most of them in this city center, their eyes are open to what I don't want to say. But we are still looking for, please, if you see for us, intelligence research is another one. The undergraduates are just starting with us. If they are undergraduate, because the, the universities in Nigeria now, they are on strike. That is another thing. They are on strike. Courses, children that went to school for four year course, they are saying for six years, seven years. In the process, if they are invited to join evil courts or they, they, they are invited to legalism, armed robbery, terrorism, would they not join? And please, if you see them. Now, those that we are in need of our central solution are intelligent and hardworking youth. Intelligent and hardworking, because we have to build the future now. We have to build these youths. One is already here doing what is making us happy. Sophia is here right now. Michael has been there. Uh, Victor, John Victor is there. We have Koyum there. We have them at scattered in different states. But we still need more in this our physical place. So please, if you know those that are around, that are, that are intelligent. And we don't take nonsense. Once we see that, you, because once you force them to do something, that's what is killing the world. What's killing Nigeria, Africa, and the world today. Because people that are there, they know nothing upstairs. Because they were just pushing them, pushing them. Man, no man. Bribery, nepotism is from my tribe. No, if you don't watch it, we don't train you. You have to prove your word. And Michael that, was on, that is on probation, we tell him, you have to know this, you have to know that. And the guy is improving. Most of the fashion videos now, he will do the fashion video, he will edit, he will do this. He's, he's, he's getting happier every day, improving himself. So please, when you have youth, don't come here. Do you, <laughs> would you believe one funny thing? A youth came to us, he said, Central Foundation, I want you to 
send me to America. <laughs> Lazy Moriah. Maybe he thinks they are picking money on the floor in America. Please, state in prayer. I, mean, I want you to answer all oh, Jim Barrett. So, do you need such youth there? He's not ready to learn any craft. He said we should come and send him to America. Do you understand? Most of them are there in Lebanon, in Egypt, in different countries. But when you see those that are ready to learn a craft, to make us craft, please send them to us. And today, I can't just, I just don't know. Uh, we are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. I'm still going to be seeing more of our madam, our madam. <laughs> All those times that we, we, we used to do things. When we do have anything online, we can't reach out. She said, there is no network. We will not see her face. We are live. This is live right here at the Central Foundation is Cow. You are seeing the face of Sophia Surishi. Our, what is that your brand name again? Sophie Stitch. Sophia Surishi. When you check that side, say, I'm proud of what I'm doing. I'm a stitcher. There's a way she used to put that English. I will laugh. I'm a seamstress. I love my distance. I love my profession. And you see, now she she can make dresses. You see what she's wearing? It's made by her from Sophie Stitches. Sir Sophie Stitches collections. You see, she's making fascinators. Yeah, fascinators. Tell us now. Tell us all you are making okay, now. Okay, I'm doing fascinators to get the all these bridal hat fans and uh, many more, many of them. Bridal and fans, fascinators, gilets, everything. A bridal uh, traditional wear. She made everything from the hair gear to the hand fan to the wear. Everything you are going to see it. And this is a a a, a, a child, a, a a youth that was nowhere two years ago before Central Foundation picked her up, and we are so happy. We bless the name of God, and we want to use this opportunity to say, God bless everyone that has been a blessing to Central Foundation. Your reward will not go down the drain, and don't give up on us. Don't say what are they doing. All of you that made this physical place a reality, you will never lose your reward. We are really working. We may not come on board. We may not have the time because training these youths and doing so many other things before we meet up with customers or before because the foundation is set to serve customers and every other thing. So because we are still in the process of building them, so it may not be easy for us coming on on live stream. We have never forgotten our youths. We are still very much watching them and asking after them and checking after all of them, and we will be bringing you great reports that will make you happy and you shall never lose your blessing so thank you so very much so <laughs> sophia which last word are you going to say i'm going to go on live stream now what okay, last word are you going to I'll say? say thank you everyone because since i've been this since i'm here yeah, my teeth is sad oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm so much i've known you so when you overlap you can see your cheeks will be pretty as you can see now my cheeks are pretty yeah. i'm so much i thank you everyone who made everything to be here i took out me thank you everyone so much happy thanks central foundation <laughs> Thank and that know. is it you can hear it is the joy from the heart thank you and god bless you everyone and don't ever stop helping and don't lose your joy because your joy is your strength whatever is going on just learn to keep that joy and lend the helping and to the next person to you till we come your way next time i will be checking to you and said to catch you <laughs> Love you bye bye yeah.